Spinosaurus, the main predator of prehistoric Africa. Spinosaurus is considered the largest, although not the most dangerous, land-based predator that has ever lived on the planet. This lizard was larger not only to the Tyrannosaurus rex, but also the Gigantosaurus. Like these of his relatives, Spinosaurus was a theropod, that is, it belonged to a bipedal predatory dinosaur. But few of the known dinosaurs were lucky enough to change their appearance so often during their study. For more than 100 years since the discovery of this species, scientists have changed their opinion about its appearance and its habits at least five times. To learn more about scientific discoveries and other periods of the development of our planet, we advise you to subscribe to our channel. Our subscribers are the first to know about the release of new videos and can express their opinion about them in the comments under the video. And if you want to help the creators of the channel in its promotion, you can do so by liking the video. The first finds of Spinosaurus remains date back to the early 20th century. The German paleontologist Ernst Stromer, during his expeditions to the north of the African continent, found two skeletons of a dinosaur species unknown at that time. But the skeletons he found were not completely preserved. Therefore, the first images of Spinosaurus were very different from those offered by modern researchers. Since the most complete of the two skeletons found was in Egypt, the names of those species appeared to be linked to this country. The name Spinosaurus itself comes from the Greek words meaning spine and lizard. The species found by Stromer are officially named Egyptian and Moroccan. But the second Spinosaurus survived only in fragments, therefore some scientists questioned this classification. It was precisely because of this lack of information that the first image of the Spinosaurus rather resembled one of the pinnipeds or cetaceans. Instead of the usual dorsal crest, a huge fat hump was drawn. Instead of the front paws, flippers. There are no hind legs in the picture at all and the tail is more like a fish. The mouth of the Spinosaurus was made closest to modern images, but instead of a narrow long muzzle, the paleontologist suggested that this animal had a small trunk. In general, the first portrait of the Spinosaurus, a giant toothy elephant seal appeared before us. Fortunately, scientists quickly abandoned this variant of the appearance of the Spinosaurus. But despite being depicted as a theropod since 1915, it still looked more like a giant predatory kangaroo with a crest on its back. From the fat hump, not typical for predators, the discoverer of this species himself refused. But in some later reconstructions, scientists returned to similar options. Almost until the end of the 20th century, the image of the 1915 model was considered correct. True, the illustrators of some books about dinosaurs depicted him walking on four legs. Scientists understood that Spinosaurus is a highly specialized predator. Only fact that they could not correctly determine his specialization. But in 1986, another dinosaur from the Spinosaurid family, Baryonyx, was discovered in England. First, in 1983, a single large claw was discovered. And after three years, scientists dug up a skeleton that was preserved by about 70%. A few years later, the undoubted relationship between Spinosaurus and Baryonyx was recognized. And scientists suggest that animals similar in structure should have the same habits. There was practically no doubt about the specialization of Baryonyx. The structure of its head and jaws indicated that it was a fish-eating dinosaur. And only in the late 90s did the image of the Spinosaurus appear to the known general public from films from Steven Spielberg. Such a transformation of appearance became possible due to the emergence of new specimens. At this time, several well-preserved skeletons were discovered in North Africa. Exhibits from private collections were also purchased. True, many fans of dinosaurs did not really approve of the scene from the next Jurassic Park in which the Spinosaurus defeats the Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
Anyone who is at least a little versed in the issue, it was clear that such an outcome of the fight was very unlikely. Unlike the T-Rex, the Spinosaurus is not adapted to fight other dinosaurs. Of course, its larger size, as well as its impressive teeth and claws, were serious weapons. But all of that was intended for hunting fish and other aquatic animals. But in these films, the Spinosaurus appeared already in the form of large theropods. It has a standard body structure for all representatives of this class, large hind and short front legs. It is distinguished only by the presence of a dorsal ridge and a narrow crocodile muzzle. The latest images of Spinosaurus so far endowed it with a flatter and longer tail, similar to the tails of modern newts. With such a structure and length of the tail, its gait should have been different from the gait of the same Tyrannosaurus rex. Scientists suggest that when moving onto land, the back and head of the lizard were located more horizontally, almost parallel to the ground. According to various sources, Spinosaurus could reach a length of 12 to 18 meters and weigh from 7 to 20 tons. The largest of the found skulls of this monster has a length of 2.5 meters. The teeth of the Spinosaurus strongly resemble those of modern fish-eating crocodiles. They are not serrated, as for example in the T-Rex, and they are bent backwards. The purpose of the dorsal sail is not fully known. There are suggestions that it was used for thermoregulation or attraction of the opposite sex. In addition to the lizards, which gave the name to the entire family of Spinosaurids, it includes several more species of dinosaurs. All of them have been studied to varying degrees, but their similarity and kinship do not cause any doubts among scientists. Let's get to know some of the dinosaurs from the Spinosaurid family. Baryonyx We have already spoken about the discovery of this lizard, which lived in the Northern Territory of England at the end of the Cretaceous period. The found skeleton with 70 centimeter claws belonged to an incomplete adult. Therefore, we don't know anything about the real size of the representatives of this species. The main difference of baryonyx are considered to be a straight rather than an S-shaped neck and equally long claws in the front and hind limbs, as well as an elongated mouth, in which 96 large teeth are located. The front paws of this pangolin are quite long. Therefore, despite the obvious use of only hind legs for walking, he could sometimes stand on all four limbs. The structure of the jaws and teeth say that Baryonyx ate fish. Most likely, his method of fishing resembled that used by modern bears. But at least some semblance of a dorsal sail was not found in this relative of the Spinosaurus. Cristatosaurus This dinosaur had a crest on its back. It may not be as prominent of that of the Spinosaurus, but it was he who gave the name to the species. Cristatosaurus translates to crested lizard. He lived in the early Cretaceous period on the African continent. The only find of the remains of this species dates back to 1973. The skeleton of the Cristatosaurus was discovered during excavations of the state of Niger. Due to the lack of other finds, some scientists believe that this dinosaur should not be singled out as a separate species. Zuhomim it is to this species that some scientists tend to attribute the remains discovered in 1973 in Niger. Zahoman lived in territory in the modern Sahara Desert about 110 million years ago. At that time, it was quite a swampy area. This lizard ate mainly fish. The samples found allow us to say that their body length was more than 10 meters and their weight was slightly less than 5 tons. Irritator this dinosaur lived at the same time, but on a different continent. The only skeleton was found in Brazil. The reconstruction of the remains made it possible to determine that this dinosaur had a body length of 8 meters. He was distinguished by an unusual crest at the back of his skull. Oxalia This dinosaur is considered the largest of the theropods found in Brazil. In 1999, scientists found the first specimen here and in 2004, it was supplemented by an incomplete upper jaw. Based on these remains, the alleged appearance of the lizard was restored. It is believed that it had a length of 12 to 14 meters 
and weighed about 7 tons. Thank you for watching this video to the end. You can learn more about history and the discovery of other types of dinosaurs and prehistoric animals from our previous videos.